Your mind to muscle connection is using your thinking to work a muscle. Here's a quick episode. We've all been here. We try to lift heavy because we think that's the best and see others doing it. You should do something you can control and lower the weight to a reasonable amount. To make the connection between your mind and muscle, it takes focus. Slow everything down. A slow tempo gives you time to feel the contraction of your muscles. I highly recommend warming up for at least 10 minutes prior to a workout. This way, with more blood going to the muscles you want to work, the connection can be stronger. When training the biceps, I imagine how I want my biceps to look. This technique is touching the muscle you are training to get the most out of it, to wake it up, clear your mind, and give your muscles your full attention. Stop thinking for once to all my overthinkers out there. If you're talking during the exercise, it makes it more difficult, which is why I like to work out alone. A bonus tip is to count the reps of an exercise you're doing and look at one spot. This way, you can concentrate on the movement. Remember that good results take time, so don't be upset if you don't feel this connection right away. Some people close their eyes when doing an exercise. Chest flies are a great example of doing an exercise with your mind. You're flexing your chest while bringing your hands together like a clap or a hug. Pull-ups are fundamental to my training. I want a strong back to help me improve on my overall strength and endurance. I always encourage bodyweight training to be a part of anyone's routine. If you can handle your own body weight, it makes the connection real. If your weight is heavier or you're not strong enough, that's okay. Just try to use an assisted pull-ups machine or bands. Stability is a big part in building this connection. For some exercises, being imbalanced is part of it. However, for this, I wanna show you that with my two feet under me, my core brace, and then squeezing my glutes as I come up, this is the way that I have that connection on my leg day. Learn what you need to improve at, but also what you're good at. Use your strengths to help your weaknesses. That's what we should do. Reverse lat pull downs, I'm emphasizing the significance of using my mind to muscle connection. See how I'm not throwing equipment around? Essentially, you wanna digest the exercise. Okay, okay, I know that sounds weird. Do the full range of motion and there will be even more activation in your muscles. It's gonna take time to build this technique. Even flexing your muscles in posing is connecting your mind to your muscles. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.